I never paid much attention to angels until I found an angel feather in my house that was absolutely unexplained and had an encounter with the Lord immediately after that changed the course of my life and ministry. I started studying angels and found they are mentioned hundreds of times in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Many are reporting increased angelic activity in these days. They're receiving angelic assistance, messages from angels, and so much more. Although I'm conservative in the things of the Spirit, and by that I mean I'm a word person. I test the spirits to see if they are of God. The Word and the Spirit always agree. I'm conservative in the things of the Spirit, but I've come to understand that angels really are all around us. Hebrews 1 and verse 14 tells us angels are ministering spirits sent out to minister to those who will inherit salvation. Now, some translations say angels are sent to care for us or sent to help us out or render service or to assist. No matter what translation you prefer, it's obvious that God uses angels on assignment to help us. Now, let me be clear. We always look to God for our help. He is where our help comes from. But we should be open to that God-ordained help coming in the form of angels. Like Bill Johnson says, we don't worship angels, but we'd be foolish to ignore them. At times, the Holy Spirit may lead us to release prayers that activate angels. Although we don't command angels, Jesus is the head of the angels, we can release the Word of God and angels' ears perk up. We find this truth, this reality, in Psalm 103, verse 20. I want to read you just a few different translations so you sort of see the picture from all sides. The MEV version says, Bless the Lord, you his angels, who are mighty and do his commands and obey the voice of his word. See, they obey his commands. They do his commands. We don't command angels. The angels obey God. They, they heed the voice of his word. They listen for his word. NASB says, Bless the Lord, you his angels, mighty in strength who perform his word, obeying the voice of his word. There again, we see angels are obedient to God. They perform his word. They seek to execute his word. They seek to carry out the will of the Lord. NIV says, Praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who obey his word. They do his bidding, not our bidding. They're not sort of subject to what we'd like to see or what we'd like to do. They respond to his bidding. Message version says, Bless God, you all you angel armies, alert to respond to whatever he wills. And the Amplified Bible says, Bless, affectionately, gratefully praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his commands, hearkening to the voice of his word. Are you getting the picture? God can choose to send angels on assignment. We can sense his leading to release angels, decree his word, his will, and see ministering spirits come to our aid. Just like they came to help Jesus, just like they came to help Paul, just like they came to help Peter and many others in the Bible. In the following sections, we'll begin to activate angels with various functions the Lord can send on assignment to help you, guide you, war for you, and so much more. Get ready. Get your faith up, release strong decrees, and you'll see angels move.